Bush. Yes, Senator. Simultaneously, while violent terrorists are threatening pregnancy centers. Those crisis pregnancy centers, so we need to shut them down all around the country. We also have had protesters at the homes of Supreme Court justices night after night after night. Now, I believe protesting at someone's home where your spouse sleeps, where your children sleep, is inherently threatening. It is designed to be threatened. Now, as it so happens, Congress has addressed this issue. It's passed 18 U.S.C. Section 1507, making it a crime to protest at the home of a Supreme Court justice while a case is pending. Night after night after night, these protesters committed federal crimes on national television. Why has the Department of Justice refused to enforce 18 U.S.C. Section 1507? Senator, very recently, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Maryland, in fact, has prosecuted a defendant for unlawful conduct in front of the home of one of our Supreme Court justices. So one person? To date, uh, there has been one prosecution. And what about today? the hundreds of others? Uh, uh, all of whom have violated the law on the face of it. It's not complicated. The law is very clear. Why does the Department of Justice pick and choose which laws to enforce, which criminal laws to enforce, and why does it seem to exactly follow the pattern of the partisan preferences of the Biden White House? Uh, again, Senator, politics shouldn't play and does not play any role in our prosecutorial decisions. Yeah! Why does it seem to exactly follow the pattern of the partisan preferences of the Biden White House? And the truth shall set you free!